We are opening up the Invader book. This is pretty sick because you had a chance at getting a signed version of this. So he went in and signed one of these. Um, this is obviously not that version, um, but still a pretty cool thing to have. Let's go through slowly. So what this is, is Invader. He's known for his pixel style art, recognized by kids and adults. He invades a town, recording all of his new works in that town then only post those videos after he's left in true street artist form. Uh, the pieces he leaves in the streets resell for next to nothing because they don't have provenance, but are still stolen frequently. You really need the COA from a gallery, which makes the work worth hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. Um, he's done really, really well. His work has resold on auction for millions of dollars. The Astro Boy, I think, was the number one work. Um, he has works all over L.A. where I live. They're pretty cool. There was one near UCLA's campus, but I think it was stolen. Um, so, yeah, a bunch sort of everywhere, but they get taken. There's ones on the Hollywood sign, but you'd have to get go trespass in order to see it um my favorite works that he has are actually in japan that's where the astro boy is and it's just very very unique works there um, one of my favorites is like um he lines it up with a uh a light that goes through sort of like a gridded um fence so like the the piece and the grid of the fence line up uh, perfectly the shadow and the grid of the fence uh, it's a pretty cool piece in Japan. Anyways, he does great work there. I highly suggest going to Tokyo if you can. Uh, this book is all of the print work he has released in the last 19, 20 years. Um, again, I said one of the books was signed. Didn't get that. But anyways, we're just talking. So that's the foreword. Let's start flipping through. I'm not going to read this because I'm not going to pretend and do something that I wouldn't do. I would normally just flip through this. So a lot of Rubik's Cube pieces, a lot of just inspiration for other print work. See work by Ben Ein um, and a few other artists like Banksy, I believe, Fail, um, Based who just passed away, RIP, um, and a handful of others. Some of his first, this is the prints on paper, Rubik's Cube designs. Anyways, I'm gonna skip ahead real quick. Um, ooh, this looks like something I recognize. These were, um, this is a sunset from 2018 from the studio. He released that one as a part of the OTI prints. And okay, this is what I was looking for. The complete chronological list. So very cool. Let's go through it. Oh, but just 52 total. So there's three pages. This is the first page. This is the second page. And this is the third page. So this is the reason I wanted to open this. I have two of these in my archive. The two that I have in my archive are these two. It is the Versailles prints. I don't have these up just because it's not really my style. Um, I got these from Over the Influence. Um, I waited in line with a friend named Evan. Um, shout out Evan. Um, he helped me buy one and coincidentally they ended up being the same edition number Which I think was really hard to do. So I have a set of these in the same edition I paid 1500 for them and they regularly resell for anywhere between four thousand and seven thousand dollars at the moment uh, And they're just sitting in my archive um, I really wanted to trade someone for one of these or just any of the um, space invader style prints um i would have really loved to have one of those um he also did an invader kit in la during this time so that's a tile piece 
Oopsies. Are we back? There we go. Sorry about that. So he also did like a tile piece um, that went for twenty five hundred dollars and now resells for ten to fifteen k. Um, I got out of line at midnight. I actually went directly from Kaser's place to the Invader opening at Over the Influence Gallery. Got in line, parked illegally, had my dog with me, um, and they basically said like everyone behind this point isn't going to get one. So I left. A bunch of people waited just to see what would happen. Turns out not everyone had $2,500 to spend. And a lot of people were let in the line last minute. So I probably could have gotten one had I waited around. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Love this. Looks like it goes through literally every print. So let's see if we can find the... Yeah, here we go. Here are the Versailles one. So... Published by the artist for the exhibit, Into the White Cube, 2018, at Over the Influence. So, really think this book is cool. Think it's awesome that some of the work that I have is featured in this. Um, whenever you're going to add books or, or uh, pieces to your archive, it's sort of nice to have these texts. I bought this directly from Invader. It proves that he actually put out the pieces um, that I'm speaking about um, in a full re uh, sort of catalog version. Um, so I just really love this for Providence um, and sort of what it means for that. Cool. So that was the Invader book. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.